All right, YouTube, the predictable is, of course, happening, which is that people that don't like Trump are talking about, oh, we need to impeach him or he needs to resign uh, because reasons. That is extremely unlikely. The Republican Party would essentially be suicidal uh, at this point to try. If they were to do so, about a third of the Republican Party would be in open revolt. It might even cause uh, civil discord on a significant scale. Now, we're seeing it already. Right now, you've got a lot of alienation. The, the legacy media is instrumental in causing this. They should shut the fuck up, honestly. The corporate uh, media apparatus that happens to be engaged in activities of the press has gone full yellow journalism mode, even more so than during the election. What they're telling people is Trump is Hitler, and if they're on the other side, Trump's enemies are Hitler or something like that. They're driving a wedge between people. It's the same sort of MO that we've seen for decades now. But Trump has not done anything impeachable. That's the point. When, when people look at his policy proposals or things he actually signs, and they say, well, this is fascism or, or evil or something, just because you happen to disagree with it or think that it's evil or a bad idea or fiscally unsound doesn't make it unconstitutional. For instance, the idea of stripping the right to privacy for people that aren't citizens. Citizens are covered by the Constitution. They have an inalienable right to privacy that the government, by the way, why are you so worried? The government's been alienating us from the Fourth Amendment now for years with the NSA and similar programs. Why are you so worried about stripping that protection, weak as it already is, from people who aren't even entitled to constitutional protections? They're entitled to human rights protections. They're not entitled to protection under the U.S. Constitution. Are you arguing that they also have the right to keep and bear arms? The same people that are really worried about non-citizens, illegals in this country, and they are illegals, I'm not going to use the term undocumented or whatever fucking newspeak they're throwing around now. If they're entitled to the right to privacy, they are also intrinsically entitled to the right to keep and bear arms. Now, would you let them go and arm up, is the question. Because usually the same people complaining about this move don't even support the concept of self-defense. Uh, self they don't even support the concept, generally speaking, of a population that's really capable of, uh, of arming itself. They talk all the time, for instance, <clears throat> about, oh, I wish women's bodies were like guns. Oh, so you want to uh, be part of a registry, a, a, ure a uterus registry, and you want to have a waiting period before you can have sex, and you want to pay fees and fines uh, in order to use your uterus? Okay, uh, th okay. I suppose if that's what you really want, I think that's probably not. I think you're probably taken in by a bunch of uh, yellow journalism, but be that as it may. Trump hasn't done anything impeachable. He says, oh, we're going to uh, tariff Mexico, build a wall. Is that an impeachable offense? President after president's talked about building a border defense anyway. W talked about it. Obama really was the first not to discuss it. Bubba Bill. Bubba Bill came out and in speeches during the 1990s sounded almost exactly like what Trump sounds like now as far as his position on illegal immigration. And he got a standing ovation from his party and indeed from Democrats at large, lay Democrats, at the time that he made those speeches. Now, why would it be any different now? What, the, the passage of a couple decades means all of a sudden a wall that used to be possible and something Democrats could support is now an impeachable offense? I don't think so. I, I don't believe that argument. I think that it's a bunch of bunk. What about the idea of... Uh, allowing people to own suppressors, you know, not have to register them or get a license or something. How is that impeachable? It conforms to the Second Amendment. There are plenty of things that Trump has suggested doing that I'm not on board with. For instance, early on in the campaign, we said, oh yeah, we're going to deport all of the illegals, which won't happen, by the way. He's not actually going to do it. He's gearing up right now for amnesty. You don't even realize it. It should be his fans, his hardcore fans that, says, that say, yeah, we want a white America. They're the ones that should be pissed off at Trump right now. Not the leftists. They should love Trump. He's talking about basically amnesty. He's talking about preserving the DACA system uh, for, for millions of undocumented individuals who came as children or who are coming as children. He's, he's talking about, uh, about uh, literally, uh, uh, towards the end of the general, he began speaking of this, prioritizing those that are here illegally and have criminal records, which in... in Politician terms, let me explain what he's going to do. And I can almost guarantee, if he's not, if no one stands in his way, this is what he's going to do. He's going to kick out the illegal aliens. Those that are already in the system. They're criminals. They've done something wrong while here. 
probably stick to just violent crimes and or felonious stuff. Uh, I doubt he would kick somebody out for all they smoked weed. I don't think he cares. I honestly do not think he cares. You look at his D possible DEA pick, looks like he's going to legalize marijuana more than anything else. How the fuck's that an impeachable offense? These people should be cheering in the streets for Trump, not calling him the orange Hitler. You know what he's going to do? He's going to kick out the criminal illegals, a few hundred thousand people at least, maybe a million people. He's going to leave the others alone. He's going to tell them, yeah, you've got a pathway to citizenship. You're already here. We've got to think pragmatically. And guess what? Most of his fans will support him. A lot of right-wingers that right now are like, oh, these damn dirty Mexicans, they're not going to be talking like that in a year or two. They're going to be saying, oh, they're our fellow Americans. Yeah, we're, we're great. We're a great country. We can assimilate them. Of course we can. We need more people in this country. Hurrah to the United States. So they'll be civic nationalists. That's what's going to happen. That's what he's edging towards. That's not a Hitler-esque move. What the fuck are you talking about? How is it impeachable? Deporting illegal aliens is an impeachable offense. Obama's been doing it. Hell, Obama uh, deported a record number of illegals. A lot of people, a lot of his fans didn't even realize that. Conducting warfare, that's an impeachable offense. How? Obama's killed hundreds of thousands of people with drones. Trump hasn't uh, re really done that. He's, he's stopped giving aid to the FSA already. It's a good thing. We're, we're no longer funding a terrorist group, essentially. Um, I'm scratching my head as to what you think specifically would be the grounds for impeachment. That's a pretty high bar to set, especially if you intend to force them out of office. You're going to need the consent of a significant number of Republicans as well to do that. Are you, do you think they're suicidal enough to do so? You know what Trump would do if they began impeachment proceedings and it looked like a few Republicans would join them? He would utterly drag them over the coals. He would rake them into the coals so far that they'd look like nothing more than a pile of beef jerky. He would completely and utterly destroy the Republican Party at the same time that he destroys the Democrats. And he'd be right to do it. Nothing that he has suggested is impeachable. There are things that he's suggested that won't work. You can't deport 10 million people without violating the Constitution. It'd be physically impossible. I've pointed this out. I pointed this out during the primaries. I pointed this out during the general. I would oppose such a plan if he actually went forward with it. I don't think he will, but in the off chance that he does, I would completely oppose such a plan because it is non-working. It's not going to happen. But it wouldn't be impeachable. It would not be a breach of the U.S. Constitution on its face. The methods used to try to make it happen would, which would cause a real fucking problem. A hell of a lot of states would tell him to fuck himself. Oddly enough, in, on, in that argument, I'd be on the state side. and say, no, you don't have the right to send in a bunch of federal agents, U.S. troops, to go door to door, ignore the Fourth Amendment. But I mean, it's not like we don't ignore it already. What's Obama been doing this whole time? He's collecting every email you ever send. It's not a violation of the Fourth Amendment. You never talked about impeaching him. I did. I said he should have been impeached after Edward Snowden came forth and told us what he oversaw at the NSA. Because I actually believe in the right to privacy. None of these Democrats cared about the right to privacy till Trump was elected. None of them cared about warmongering until Trump was elected. He's doing a lot of the same stuff Obama's been doing. It looks like he's even going to scale it back. That's a good thing. That's a pro-freedom sort of move. It's not a Hitler-esque move. What specifically has Trump done since he's been elected? I'm not talking about what he campaigned on, what he said during the election. Forget about that shit. It's just like, oh yeah, we're going to th you know, uh, throw Hillary in jail. It, did he do that? No, he came out a few days later, once it became clear he had been elected. He said, oh, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, Hillary's an okay person. Pure politics. Get fucking over it. Yeah, he acted really brash during the election. Guess what? He's calming down now. It got to the point earlier. <clears throat> this is really funny. I'm not going to post the link because fuck CNN. CNN, po you can look it up yourself. CNN posts a story. Oh, Trump is obsessed, you know, as though it was a bad thing, with keeping his campaign promises. So you heard it first from the legacy media. Keeping your campaign promises is a bad thing. It makes you a bad person. You shouldn't actually focus on that. You should just forget about everything that you said. I am glad that so far Trump is actually doing what he said he would do. Now, in some cases, the worst of what he said he would do wasn't really affirmative 
in the sense of saying, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. And that's what I pointed out. I pointed it out for goddamn months. And a lot of these people ignored it. They didn't believe what I was saying. Both his fans and his critics, they completely ignored what I was saying. Trump never said, yes, I will create a deportation force. Yes, I will deport 10 million people. No, what he said was, oh, what we need to do is prioritize criminal illegals, and then we'll see about the rest. Now, his fans thought that that meant, oh, yeah, we're going to deport him, but he's he doesn't want to say that because he knows that he'll get attacked for it. What his critics saw is, yeah, he's definitely going to fucking deport everyone too, and he's just trying to hide that fact. In both cases, you were utterly fooled, completely delusional. It was a smokescreen for what his real plan is. What's his real plan? I'll explain it one last goddamn time. He's going to deport the criminal illegals, and he's going to build a coherent border defense, and Mexico will pay for it in the form of a tariff, or some similar uh, arrangement, honestly. But he's not going to completely alienate Mexico. We're not going to start aiming, you know, tanks and artillery into Mexico. It's just not going to happen. He's a businessman, not a not a class A, uh, uh, you know, fucking warmonger. He's not a W. And uh, he will deport the criminal illegals, but he's probably going to give amnesty at some point to at least a segment of those that are already here and haven't broken any other crimes. And I don't care. I'm not an ethno-nationalist. They do care. I, I happen to believe that the United States is great enough that if we keep to our fundamental core principles of liberty, we can assimilate goddamn anyone. It doesn't fucking matter. I do oppose bringing people here from cultures that have stated from time to time, yeah, we're going to destroy the, the great Satan or something. Yeah, blocking them is fine. And that's not impeachable either. How is it impeachable? It's within the president's purview to say, yeah, we're not going to accept people from this country because too many people in this country are militants. They are our enemies. We've done this before. Iranians were under Jimmy Carter, an actual liberal from the Democratic Party, an actual liberal, an actual leftist, not like Bubba, not like Obama, a bunch of neolibs, a real liberal, a real actual social justice leftist, except on abortion from time to time, strangely, blocked Iranian immigrants to this country under the same exact ethos that Trump is using now. Well, Iranians are our enemy. A lot of people there really don't like us. Why would we want to take immigrants from their country? So they blocked them temporarily. I don't think Trump is going to enshrine this in stone and keep people out from Pakistan or Afghanistan or wherever for the rest of eternity. It's a temporary measure to develop a new vetting process. And his own fans don't realize that either. They think that he's gone whole... Heil Hitler mode, and he's just going to keep out all Muslims from entering the United States. No, he's not. It's a temporary move. He needs a new vetting process. I happen to agree with that. I have no problem with it. It's gotten to the point. Both his core fans and the social justice left, think, one of them thinks that he's, he's cucked out, and he's, oh, he's a sellout, he's a cuck now. The other side says, oh, oh he's Hitler. Well, th when you get these two dichotomous sides trying to describe the same person in such vastly different terms, you know they're both wrong. It's happened from time to time throughout history. It's happened before. It's, it's not a new thing. Ronald Reagan. A lot of people lionized him. A lot of people thought he was the Antichrist. It's the same thing. No, he was a centrist at the end of the day. Largely just a charismatic figurehead. He was more demented. Trump is more sane than Ronald Reagan was certainly in his second term. And more well-spoken. I don't think a lot of people realize that. Look up uh, his debate with Walter Mondale. If Mondale hadn't had the personality of a dish rag, he would have won. Ronald Reagan looked so confused, he was ready for the wheelchair already. Let's not fucking kid ourselves and pretend that he was some great holy leader of the Christian nation on a hill. Fuck that shit. Now Trump's doing fine. Yeah, he's keeping his campaign promises, and this really worries people who thought that he'd be stuck. They don't seem to realize you lost. You don't control the Senate. You don't control the House. You lost the presidency. You lost numerous governor's seats. You lost numerous state legislatures thanks to Obama being shitty and Clinton being a shitty candidate. You lost. It is time to get over it. If you keep trying to blame Trump, call him Hitler, and offer up no alternative ideas, you are going to be absolutely annihilated. The Democratic Party will barely survive. You'll get to the midterms. 
you're gonna lose so much power, so much support, that it will be clear in everybody's minds, you've lost it. You've lost your marbles. You're gonna get so many young dark horse candidate upstarts in your party, you won't even recognize the Democratic Party by 2020. It might be under the control of Jim Webb-style centrists. It might be under the control of sort of the Warrenite sort of side, the social justice warriors. It might be under the command of some prelate of the Bernie Sanders socialist mentality, but it won't be under the control of neoliberals. It'll be complete. If you think the Republican Party got overhauled, wait till you see what happens to the Democrats if they don't get their heads screwed on right. By the way, oddly enough, terrible as that may probably sound to partisan Democrats, that's actually the better outcome. The worse outcome is you win the midterms, actually manage to take the House or Senate. Oh, you're going to get so browbeaten. Oh, the neolibs will crow about it. They'll be self-assured. They'll suppress newcomers even more than they did last time, like Sanders, on behalf of whoever the neoliberal candidate is. They might even try to run Clinton again. That's how stupid they really are. Don't put it past them. Do not underestimate the dumbness of the DNC since uh, the Al Gore days. Don't underestimate their stupidity. Obama was lucky. He was coming off of a very weak president, and a Republic, a two Republican candidates that were very much like that weak president who couldn't debate their way out of a paper bag. That's why he won. Had nothing to do with, oh, some great personal strength of Obama. No, a proper Republican candidate might have actually beaten him. Would have been fairly close. It wouldn't have been a, a landslide against Obama, certainly. <clears throat> you know, race was used as a wedge issue, of course, by the Democrats. Uh, but it could have happened. But the Democrats right now are in disarray. Now, you're not going to impeach Trump. Uh, it's, it's almost certain not to happen, especially since at some point the corporate media apparatus might not do this, but everybody else is going to normalize him in their minds. When the sky doesn't fall, when all of this alarmism largely turns out to be false, when Mexico doesn't declare war on us or try to freeze us out, when China does not magically gain hegemonic world domination powers, when Russia does not start uh, openly flaunting espionage in the United States, when our economy does not collapse out from under us, when we don't have a nuclear war, a year or so from now, people will start to realize, oh, Trump's not Hitler. Wow, that's funny. The CNN told me he was. Fox News even alluded to it from time to time. Half the people on there didn't like him. So yeah, there's my thoughts on that. No, Trump's not going to get impeached. Uh, the Democrats don't have the power to impeach him. They don't have the votes. It's impossible. They'd need the consent of a significant minority of the Republicans. It's not going to happen. You think Paul Ryan and people like him aren't going to pound people in the face to keep them in line if they try? Of course they will. Don't you fucking endanger this party. You'll never be running for politics again unless you want to jump over and become a Democrat. And a lot of those people that are in solid red districts would never work. That's why you don't have, by the way, as much defection as you might think within these parties from time to time. Uh, it's a relatively rare occurrence. You think someone gets elected in a red district as a Republican, then they say, oh, yeah, I was a Democrat the whole time. Fuck you or something like that. So, no, uh, Trump's just fine. He's doing fine. Uh, he's doing better than Obama or W or Bubba or H. Wa uh, Herbert Walker did in their first hundred days. At least he's getting something accomplished. It might be divisive. You may think it's horrible, but he's getting something. He's doing something. He's actually uh, trying to make a difference. You may think that that difference is bad, but at least he's fucking trying. It's more than we've gotten from anyone since the Reagan era. So uh, give him a little bit of credit for that. Why don't you wait and see what he actually does? I think he's going to turn into a centrist quicker than you think. And I think when that happens, a lot of the independents will start, uh, start supporting him. He's starting out at the bottom. He's going to rise up in popularity. It'll be slow at first. At some point, though, uh, the uh, lives of the media are going to get cracked through. And he's going to skyrocket. He'll be above 50%, I predict. So uh, that's what you can expect uh, in the uh, roughly near future, next year or so. That's about all. Peace out.